Welcome to this tutorial on images in HTML. Basically what we're going to do in this tutorial is just look at how to actually put a picture or an image onto your web page. So we're going to have four things. We're going to start with a web browser. I'm using Firefox. You can use Chrome or Explorer or whatever you want. Uh, a uh, web editor. I'm using Bluefish web editor which is available for free download on the, on the internet. Um, I <coughs> We also have our uh, website folder and our index file which we created in a previous lesson and if uh, if you didn't see that tutorial I would recommend viewing it uh, otherwise you can just start out with a basic HTML page uh, and just call it index put it in a folder <laughs> and uh, I'm also using this fourth element which is going to be a uh, ninja hug picture that I uh, made in <laughs> A program called GIMP, okay, and GIMP is available for free download at GIMP.org. It's kind of like Photoshop, except it's free and open source. Just click the download button on GIMP.org, G-I-M-P.org, and uh, then you can just download it off of there. So uh, we'll go ahead and close it down. So here's our page. Here's our page as we have it so far. Uh, we've just done a whole lot of ridiculous stuff with it and uh, learned a lot. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to put an image right down here. We're going to put that ninja hug image right there or whatever image you want. So I have my ninja hug image saved as a .jpg image, right? .jpg is the file extension, okay? Every file ends with a file extension and .jpg just uh, tells us that it's a, it's a picture file. So just uh, just use GIMP. Use GIMP and uh, just uh, create create some sort of image, okay? Or uh, find some sort of image to use. And uh, here I'm just gonna use a use a blank image here and save it to save it to our web uh, website folder, right? I'm gonna save it as uh, well ninjahug.jpg or uh, something.jpg but it's got to have .jpg at the end right okay so we're gonna do that first and uh, then we're gonna go to our code and we're actually gonna put the image in so now what we're gonna have to do is make an image tag and an image tag is different from a normal tag like uh, say say we have a, a bold tag right uh, it's gonna be start start bold end bold right and, all the text in between will be bold, right? Any text outside will not be bold. Yep. So that's that's basically how tags have worked so far. But an image tag is a little different because there's no like start image, end image exactly. It's just an image. So it's going to be IMG, okay? Just IMG. Like this. This is this is the tag, except it's going to be a self-enclosed tag, which means that after the G, we're just going to add a space and a slash. Okay? So IMG space slash, and it's all in a tag, right? So that's called a self-enclosed tag. Don't worry too much about figuring out exactly how that works right now. Uh, just memorize that this is how you do an image. Okay? So we're going to add some attributes, all right, to our file or to our image. And uh, there are two attributes we're going to need to add: source and uh, alt. Okay. So let's add the source attribute. Now, an attribute at a, in a tag comes after the comes after the tag. It's inside the brackets. Comes after the tag, right? So basically IMG space and now we're gonna do SRC equals and then quotation marks okay so this is our source or SRC attribute right our source equals and then it, what's inside the quotes is the source now basically the source is just the source of the image or where the browser is supposed to find the image right so we go into our website folder and we see that the ninja hug picture is in the same folder that our index file is in, right? So if our index file goes looking for the ninja hug, uh, for the ninja hug picture, it's going to find it right there in that folder. So all we have to do for our source is put in ninja hug.jpg. 
right so now we're gonna save it again all right uh, we're gonna save it and we're gonna refresh the page and look at that we just get a ninja hug picture right there isn't that exciting so now we have just kind of this random ninja hug picture on the page now what happens what happens if say uh, the the browser can't find the image let's just uh, let's actually take that image and we're gonna move it we're gonna move it onto our desktop from from the from the folder so now it's over here and when the index file says oh we need to find ninjahug.jpg the browser goes looking for it and it doesn't find it in that folder right so what happens then let's let's just see we're gonna refresh this page oh man we get this nasty broken link and the page doesn't stop loading and I don't know what you'll get in other browsers but it's just not fun so instead of having that nasty broken link uh, what we what we want to do this is good web etiquette basically is we add a second attribute alt alt equals quotation marks and inside the alt uh, which it, uh, it's just alternative text okay alternative text uh, what we show, the text we show, in case the image somehow, some way, somehow doesn't load. Now, normally your images are going to come up at almost every time. But just in case something happens to go wrong or someone's running on a browser with images disabled or something like that, we put in an alt tag, okay? So our alt tag can be ninja hug, okay, like that. And we'll go ahead and save it. Our, so this is the text that's going to show up when the image doesn't load okay so we'll go ahead and refresh that and look at that instead of the image we get ninja hug now let's go ahead and move that ninja hug picture back into the website folder so now it's in the same folder so when the browser goes looking for the ninja hug picture it'll find it so let's refresh that page again and we get the proper ninja hug picture right so that's good and uh, what if what if we wanted to do this? We add a add a new folder in here. We're gonna call it pictures, okay? And we're just gonna move our ninja hug picture into the pictures folder, okay? So now we have uh, our index file, and then we have a pictures folder and ninja hug.jpg picture in the pictures folder. So let's see what happens when we try to load the page. Well, it's not going to load the image because what happens is we're, we're here in the folder and the index file says, hey, look for ninjahug.jpg. And the browser looks for ninjahug.jpg. Do you see ninjahug.jpg? Let's see. What do we see? We see pictures, we see index, and we see that file. We don't know what that file is. But that's all we see. We don't see ninjahug.jpg. So what we're going to have to do is go into the code and in front of ninjahug.jpg we put pictures slash ninjahug.jpg okay that just means we're gonna look in this folder slash and then here's the here's the name of the image so we're gonna save that okay and we're gonna try it again boom there's our ninja hug picture so there's uh, just a couple ways. There's a couple ways to work images. Now remember, uh, it's an image tag. Okay, it's a self-enclosing tag, so it ends it ends like this instead of instead of with a closing tag like that, right? It's a self-enclosing tag, and we've got two attributes: our source, which tells us where to find the picture, and our alt or our alternative text, which is what comes up the text that comes up in case the picture doesn't load. So now we've done something really exciting. We've put a picture on our web page. So we're quite quite a big step further toward uh, being able to make really cool websites. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one.